And you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted. Make sure to check out my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to head over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Instead, we're going over some pretty, pretty cool information here. I got a, quite a bit of news. I got my iPad all set up. I got all my notes ready to go. So let's get into this. And guys, before we get into today's video, and I go over some of the points I got, I got some Madden Bull stuff, some Redux stuff, some Golden Ticket stuff, some Team Captain stuff, some Power stuff, some Draft stuff, guys, a lot of stuff to go over. Now, if I talk a little weird, kind of hurt my tongue a little bit, very hard to speak right now, but I'm trying, so don't, don't, don't kill me in the comments down below, but let's get into everything, guys. So before we get into today's video, make sure you go below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on to bell, boys, come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, as always, and if you haven't already, like I said, like the video and comment down below. What do you think of today's news? I'm pretty excited for all of it. So, first things first, before we get into the banger news, let's start with something a little more tiny. Series Redux cards. Now, if you guys don't already know, this Friday, May 1st, we will be getting a Series Redux drop. Now, we haven't gotten one since the last Series update, which we're not getting any more Series updates. So, remember, since we're not getting any more big Series updates, we were all wondering how we'd get more Series Redux cards, and it does appear they're just going to be dropping them randomly. Now I do have a list for you guys to show you guys real quick, so I will take you over to that list real quick to show you all the players. These are the players targeted to release sometime Friday, May 1st. Now it could be 10:30, it could be later. They did say it just it really just depends. So as far as Ultimate Legend goes, we'll be getting Alan Page, Christian Okoye, Willie Brown, Michael Strahan, Emmett Smith, and Devin Hester. So that does mean all those guys will now become very, very cheap. They will be Redux cards, as you guys do know. And they also they might be uh, taking out of earlier Reduxes, such as 93 and below. And so I have to order some old ones, I believe, unless I misheard there. But that could be good for value if they do start doing that. Now, as far as these cards, if you guys want to get Okoye is great because he's going to be a lot cheaper now. Devin Hester, Strahan. Really, the only one I care about there is probably going to be Paige, Okoye, and Strahan for my team personally. Then for Color Smash, we got Adam Thielen, Jalen Smith, Darius Slade Jr., Trent Williams, Derek Henry, Khalil Mack, T.Y. Hilton, Adrian Amos. Now for them, I think Khalil Mack is a great one. But I mean, for me personally, I probably only, I probably only care about Khalil Mack on this list and Michael Strand and Christian Okoye. And then NFL Draft, Miles Garrett's also very, very solid. So Miles Garrett, Khalil Mack, and uh, Michael Strand and Christian Okoye. Those are the four guys you guys will be watching out for. Remember, Redux cards are pretty much LTD cards that now can be pulled out of packs very commonly, like a regular card, and they don't go for an absurd amount of coins. Very, very good stuff. Super excited for all this. I really do hope that the Redux aren't too, you know, too overpriced considering. It will take a few days remember right when they come out initially things don't just get super super cheap but hopefully it still turns out pretty good now, let's get back to the madden screen so before we get back to the madden screen guys i want to remind you or add another thing to this point so stuff that we have there is going to be madden bowl twitch packs with a chance at a free 95 rob gronkowski as you guys you could get a, you could get a free 95 rob gronk looking super solid these madden bowl cards are pretty solid to begin with That'd be a nice tight end to have as a starter, even as a backup. Now, the way this pretty much works, when you guys go play your Madden Bowl solos, remember you can get the Ezekiel Elliott and all those other guys and Khalil Mack or whatever and all those guys. You can go play those solos. When you're done with those, they're added some more. And as you get to the end of them, instead of like more players, they gave you Twitch packs. And these Twitch packs have an increased chance to drop a Madden Bowl Rob Gronkowski. So I recommend you guys, they're long games. Don't get me wrong. If you don't have the time for them, that's fine. But if you do and you want to play some solos or you finish them already, go on ahead and go play the final ones. You can potentially get a Gronk out of those packs, which could be super solid. He gets abilities, of course. He gets chemistry. It's going to be super fun on anyone's team, even as a backup. So remember, it's in the purple Twitch packs. Now, can you pull them out of the regular day-to-day -day Twitch packs? Maybe. But all I heard was that you have to play these, and these will give you an increased chance. So, so far, we're looking pretty good. We got a free 95 Gronk in packs you could potentially get from free packs. Now, you guys, next thing, let's head over to the Madden screen to uh, continue. What you guys are probably here for right now is the free potential golden ticket. So, on stream today, Kralo did reference something. He said that he and his team have been giving feedback to the Mutt team regarding certain things. First thing was the issue of golden tickets. First is boosted odds. So, they did announce that they're trying to get golden ticket odds boosted. They did, and they did talk to the team about it, saying that they need to be more obtainable. And that's very true. I mean, people are just, it's people are freaking out. They're not obtainable. Like, I remember back when golden tickets were like a million, 300 coins, and I was like, damn, like, that's crazy. Now, if they were a million, 1.3 million, I'd buy them on a heartbeat. Like, that's the level that we're at right now. Like, they're at 6 million coins for a good one. A decent one's 3 million coins. Not obtainable. It's just not. If we go to these prices right now, the worst one, or like the, the least rare one that people really don't care about right now is Cravon LeBlanc and Kelvin Benjamin. They're 2.2 mil. So start. Zach Gentry, 3 mil. And then for the good ones, 3.8, 5.5, and then Vic, 5.7, 5.8. 6 million like you guys see this this is absurd 
This is crazy. These are not obtainable at all. The average person can't afford Like You can buy a whole team with these amount of coins. It doesn't make sense to sell a whole team for one player. But pretty much they will be we're hoping to get the odds boosted so that you can actually start pulling them in packs and boosted odds even if you don't pull them would mean that these cards will start dropping down to like the million range the two million range and the three million which is still unobtainable to an extent but it definitely is a lot better than what we were dealing with prior now another big thing is that Kralo did said that him and his team themselves have been in, have been confirming with the mutt team not confirming well conversating with the mutt team about one thing specifically they want to find a way to get golden tickets obtainable through playing the game which it does mean a free golden tickets now will this be from house rules will it be from solo challenges we do not know yet but he did say that they're talking about that and that could mean that like pretty much they're talking about it and they're working on it but he can't say just yet because what if he confirms it and they don't do it and the mud team goes just, you know everyone everyone in the mud community goes crazy but that would be super cool if we get a golden ticket solo sequence where at the end we get one nat golden ticket or even a nat fantasy pack which i don't know if it should be a fantasy pack because that kind of be if everyone had vic kind of be stupid but even if it was just a nat pack i don't i don't care like i'll take leblanc 99 cornerback i'll take benjamin i'll take literally anyone i mean i really don't like benjamin but i'll take literally anyone considering it is a golden ticket i will not be mad and the good thing about golden ticket nat is that no matter who you get to start on your team so like you know like when you have a promo and you get a nat card and it's like, oh, I have to quick sell him and he goes for nothing to quick sell. No, anything here, like you, any any player you get from here will be a starter on your team. The only one that might get me angry is Kelvin Benjamin, per se, because I really don't want him. But I mean, I'll still use him. But anyone else on this whole list will make me happy. Like Zach Gentry, Paolo Malo, no matter who I get, I will be content with who I get. I don't mind. So hopefully I do something like that. Even if it's a nap pack, I just get one random golden ticket. Super cool. Could it be a house rules, like win 50 to 100 games, something like that, and you get a free golden ticket pack? Could it be a one net offensive, one net defensive? Could it be Could it be a five-week solo sequence where at the end of five or four weeks you get something? Very likely with tokens. Very All this is very likely. But it does seem kind of likely that we could be trending towards a, a initial news release of us getting a free golden ticket in-game. Because that's kind of what Kralos said, but again, he cannot confirm it because of what would happen if he did and we did not get it. And the people would crucify him. And then a few other things real quick before we get out of this video, there will be new power-ups coming. Now, that's what we think. Again, this is this is circumstantial. Like, they said that they're going to go talk about it. We do not know an exact thing of it just yet. But as far as new power-ups coming are concerned, that would be pretty cool if some of the newer guys that we've gotten, like, through the Easter promo, through Ultimate Legends. Oh, they got them. But Easter promo, uh, Combine, maybe even Draft, if we can get some guys that haven't had power-ups yet. Because a lot of guys aren't useful without their power-ups. Like, even Draft cards, like, they, I don't think they're going to get them. I really don't think draft cards will get uh, power-ups they've never really had before. They're draft cards, you know, they, they, that's their one card they get in all year. So will they get a power-up? Probably not, but we can be expecting new power potentially, which would be super cool. When will they do it? Probably sometime next week, since they announced it now. They'll probably talk about it this weekend, now it's next week. Probably like, you know, 15 to 20 of them. Nothing like, nothing extraordinary, nothing crazy, but still nice. You know, like, it's always been good. I mean, I hope they drop some good ones that we actually been wanting. Not just some random guys that just could, could have a power-up, but no one really cares for them at this point in the game. As I hope before, and then last thing, secondary positions are coming to more players potentially. So if you guys know what secondary positions is, it's pretty much that like when you power up a guy, you can put him in a secondary position and he can play there. While I think also maintaining his stats and his um, maintaining his abilities. So I will show you guys an example of that with I believe I have Troy Palomalu is a great example of that. So I don't know if every player has it. I do not believe they do, but I think they're going to be adding some more or maybe adding more positions to people. So as you guys can see here, I can make him a free safety. Yeah, Kems are enabled when he's at free safety, which means that his his uh his lock his lockdown, his sprinter, and all the other stuff is still enabled when he is playing on the field as a free safety. So that's still pretty pretty cool. But I don't think everyone has that, which means that they will be adding some more players. So if you have any guys on your team that you think that they should play outside linebacker, or maybe they'll give him a cornerback of slot as well, because you know Trey Palmolive could probably fence cornerback no problem. That'd be cool. So I don't know if it's going to be more per player or if it's going to be more overall. It could be either or, but still, everything here sounds really, really cool. But guys, oh, and a new team captain token coming. I, I think I announced that though. I don't know. Team captain token coming uh, probably in the next week or so. I don't think it'll take that long, but team captain tokens are always fun. Should be getting our Shazier up. Well, for me, it's Shazier, but I'm super excited for team captain tokens because my Shazier is getting up there in overall at this point. I could really use a nice team captain upgrade at this point but guys that's about it for the video hope you guys did enjoy if you're new to the channel make sure you go down below hit that subscribe button turn on the bell boys come join the family give the video a big thumbs up as always and if you've been enjoying the content like i said subscribe i'm out peace enjoy the rest of your day hopefully you guys are enjoying it this should be my only video today this is pretty pretty good info so hopefully you guys enjoy i'm out peace